And next thing you know, I got the game. And um, it was beyond sight. And I got to watch the whole second half of the, uh, of the Patriot game when the dude from NC State came in. Um, wait a second. Let's see what's his name. Patriots, NC State, QB. Um, what's his name? Oh, Jacoby Brissett came in and did a great job. He marches right down the field. We go up like fucking 35 to fucking 3 or 10 or whatever the fuck it was at that point. 34, was that what it was? 31. 31, that's what it was. It was 31 to uh, to like 10 or some shit like that. And I'm just like, oh, this is fucking great. This is great. We got it. We can cruise now. And then all of a sudden, the Dolphins just start coming back. You know, they start marching right down the fucking field. And it's just like the classic NFL. It's like, can, is any lead big enough? I know that we got a third string quarterback who's now our second string because Tom Brady is inactive. What the fuck? Blah, 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 blah. But um, long story short, we ended up pulling out the win. We're fucking 2-0. and oh, And guess who lost again? The Colts lost again. Can you believe this? You know, it's almost like the football gods are are weighing in, I feel. The fact that we're 2-0 without our starting quarterback, without our second string, with our third string, we win. You know, granted, we played the fucking Dolphins. You know, they're, uh, they're in a way right now, obviously, you know. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so fucking psyched. I'm telling you right now, if we go 3-0, and the Colts go 0-4. I know our schedule's going to get a lot tougher. And, um, but anyways, you know what was funny? So once we went 2-0, this buddy of mine called it. He was just going like, dude, you know, as long as this is before, you know, Garoppolo got injured. He goes, I, if he goes 2-2, two two, that's fine. I just don't want him to go 4-0 because any, every fucking dope out there is going to be like, you see, it's just a system. You can put anybody in there and they will win. Which is basically what Boomer, Boomer fucking Esiason said. He even said that. It's, it's, it just boggles my fucking mind. Some dope tweeted that to me. You know, like they sit there and they look like beating a rebuilding team during the second fucking week of the season is the same as being down with a minute and a half left in the Super Bowl. You know, the time when other people fucking puke up their Campbell's soup. You know? Other people who are shaped like a pencil who crush it in November fold during that fucking time. You know, there's very few Tom Brady's out there. Very few Eli Manning's. Eli Manning, you want to you want to beat Eli Manning? Play him in September. He's like a sleepy dog just fucking laying on a porch. It's it bores the man. What is this? A regular season game? We got another 14. Ugh, wake me up when the playoffs are at stake. Then all of a sudden, the Giants got to win the last six games. And then that fucking guy, he just, he fire in his eyes. Well, he, who's kidding who? He never has fire in his eyes. He just, I don't know what the fuck he does. He, he knows how to turn it on. And to fucking sit here and disrespect Tom Brady like that. And this is another thing, too. They always have the stupid Matt Castle analogy. They're like, Matt Castle went in and he went 11 and 5. Can I finally debunk that? Okay, for all you fucking fantasy football Buffalo Wild Wings wearing a jersey fucking dopes out there who fucking high five, gallop sideways. He's on my fantasy team. I activated him today. Here's the thing. For the fucking 90 millionth time, the whole Matt Castle thing. Matt Castle took over a fucking team that went 16 and 0 in the regular season. Was one one fucking play away from going 19 and 0. The next year, he's under center. They went 11 and 5. And for you fucking dopes out there who can't do math, he won 5 less games. Okay? There's si- and missed the fucking playoffs. That's what he did with an 18 and one fucking team. He went 11 and five, missed the playoffs. Thank God we didn't go 10 and six. Do the math, fantasy football playing fucking dopes. 
He would have gone five and 11. All right. You guys don't remember when he got, he got traded to Kansas city and then all of a sudden became mortal again. You don't remember that. And I know what you're going to say. Well, they didn't have Bill Belichick as a coach. He was playing with lesser players. Oh, I got an answer for you. Joe Montana. Joe Montana went to the Kansas City Chiefs. And you know what happened when he went there? The Kansas City Chiefs went to the playoffs. All right, you fucking morons. Here's the deal. Mick Jagger needs Keith Richards. Bill Walsh needed Joe Montana. All right? And Bill Belichick is not going to win a fucking Super Bowl with Garoppolo. At least not in the first. I mean, who knows what that kid can do, but at least not in the first fucking. It's so fucking stupid. I'll tell you right now, I mean, Belichick is so good. You can put anybody in there and they're going to win. Because we beat the Dolphins (laughs) the second week. We're 2-0. Oh, Oh, that's it. That's it. Somehow now we're never going to lose a fucking game again. So you know that chatter's going to happen. Because there's this Buffalo Wild Wings people all the way up to guys like Dan Shaughnessy. He's going to say it. You know, thank God Garoppolo got hurt because Dan Shaughnessy, you know, the fucking Benedict Arnold of Boston sports. He's oh, he, this that man lives to try to stir up a controversy to distract the hometown team. He doesn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? He's he's like Skip Bayless before Skip Bayless. It's just, you just listen to the man. It's just like, dude, you're just literally just saying shit, aren't you? Um, So I'm glad to finally get to address that stupid Matt Castle thing. Okay, no disrespect to Matt Castle. He was a solid quarterback, but Jesus Christ, to fucking act like, well, hey, I mean, if he had Matt Castle or Tom Brady, the Patriots still go to six, winning four out of six. Come on. Come on, people, you know? The reality is, is what it is, is you fucking hate the Patriots, and that there's any remote angle for you guys to criticize the patriots you try and find it and i'm gonna i'm gonna go even further i think all right 20 years from now when they look back at at, and everybody can just fucking let it go you know even like like the most harshest red Sox fan that hated Derek jeter you know who's kidding who because the guy was great you know even at the end of his career even you couldn't hate the guy i think 20 years from now, that's how good looking Tom Brady is. It's going to take 20 years after he retires. When they look back on the pettiness and the patheticness of, and the level of this fucking suspension, you know, I think in the end, Jim Irsay finally is going to be exposed for the fucking crybaby that he truly is.